Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here back in New York City at the Kimberly Hotel, an independent property uh, here on the east side. And I'm here with Mujio Perejek, who is the general manager. And we're going to talk about this really wonderful uh, hideaway hotel here on the east side that's been around for a while, but it's recently been renovated. And uh, I think you'll like it. You're, you'll see the kind of things you can do on the east side. We're going to find out all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Mujo, first of all, uh, thank you for hosting us here. It's been a wonderful, all too brief stay. I have, I've been in this hotel before at your rooftop bar. Uh, never stayed. Uh, the rooms are really classically designed, but beautifully decorated. Let's talk a little bit about, first of all, the history of this hotel, if you could. The Kimberly Hotel is uh, located at 145 East 50th Street in Manhattan, New York City. It has been developed by uh, Mr. Fred Manocharian and his family in uh, 1985 as a residential rental building. However, with the crisis, stock market crisis of 1987, we had to uh, find different ways to uh, appropriately position this property and the decision was made to be converted into a hotel. We have been a uh, transient hotel since uh, 1994 and uh, had very much successful seasons f from that point on, uh, catering to na international as well as business travel throughout the world. Yeah, so it's, it's really a lovely, lovely place. It's an independent hotel. Tell us a little bit about the accommodations. How many rooms do you have and what are the categories? Well, we are a unique property in this city. We have about 194 rooms, of which uh, 154 are uh, suites, and the rest is guest rooms, but pretty large guest rooms with the city standards. Our guest rooms range anywhere from like a 380 to 400 square feet. Our one-bedroom suites uh, are roughly around the 700 square feet and our two bedrooms at uh, about 1,000 square feet. Yes, and it really is interesting because uh, uh, these are very large uh, rooms, large suites, and many of them have balconies. Uh, how many of them have balconies? Yes, that's a very good question. And uh, we have about 80% uh, uh, of rooms with balconies, which are going to prove very uh, good and very convenient for this uh, times that we are living in right now so people can go out on the balcony and uh, enjoy the fresh air and uh, keep social distancing within the room etc etc yeah so they're really lovely rooms and we see a little of the decor they're really classically but they're really updated but they're 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 kind of sort of old style new york accommodations but really well done yes our uh, suites uh, among other things uh, feature a amazing live and work environment with very large living rooms, uh, executive kitchenettes uh, with all the necessary needs uh, for a uh, family and individual uh, for overnight or long-term stay. Our rooms are all in, uh, outfitted with uh, working desks. Uh, we also have uh, uh, high-speed internet in, uh, throughout the area. Uh, as I mentioned before, balconies and um, refrigerators in the mm -hmm. in the I have a bar, I have a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and the mini bar as well as the bar uh, uh, is located in the, in our kitchenettes and uh, espresso machines in the in the kitchenettes as well as coffee makers classic coffee makers and all the other things i believe that the kimberly hotel is probably one of the best outfitted hotels for a uh, long term stay as well as uh, family and business days. And, and I have to tell you, you have some of the best beds I've slept in. They're, they're really, you kind of sink into them, they really are very comfortable. Well, uh, with, uh, in the 19, late 1990s, uh, when they started this idea of heavenly bed, we have taken that to a totally different level. We have uh, purchased some of the finest mattresses uh, uh, that are out there in the market. We have uh, some of the finest bed linen uh, that is uh, world-class bed linen, and we do not uh, we do not save or we do not shortchange our guests with the comfort 
and uh, and luxury of our bedding and linen. No, it, it really is very comfortable. Now let, let's talk a little bit about some of the other features of this hotel. We talked uh, of being uh, you have a rooftop bar, which seems to be kind of mandatory in New York these days. But it's a really lovely uh, bar, and and actually I was up there uh, last night, and you had a decent number of people up there, socially distant, of course, but it was really uh, really well done. How long have you had the the outdoor the uh, rooftop bar? Well, the rooftop bar uh, was launched in 2010 and immediately got a uh, award as one of the best uh, rooftop bars around the world by ABC Travel. Uh, we have uh, been very successful uh, from that point on and we are still successful even in the days of COVID because we have the ability to, um, to open the entire rooftop bar and uh, thus uh, ensure uh, open air dining and open air drinking for our patrons, which comes uh, from the area and the tri-state area of New York. And we also do a lot of events up there, small weddings, we do, um, we do birthday parties, et cetera, et cetera. Also meetings, we can conduct meetings up there, mm -hmm. uh, open air meetings. We serve uh, brunch, which is very successful, mm -hmm on Saturdays and Sundays, and it has been an amazing uh, success even during these times of COVID. Well, it is perfect because you are outdoors. Uh, is, is it winterized or not? The place is winterized and it has a, uh, it has a radiant heat uh, uh, under the uh, floor base, which uh, it's uh, supplied by a, a 180 degree hot water that floats around the perimeter, oh, wow. and it heats the floors as well as the uh, a very large heating system that we have a uh, air conditioning system that also op uh, supplies heat throughout the area. Well, it's interesting because, of course, as we get into the colder months, uh, it's outdoor bars and outdoor dining, which apparently you know New Yorkers have got really used to during this COVID period, uh, is going to go away unless there's heat sources, right? Absolutely, and we are very proud that we have managed to build uh, such a amazing rooftop bar. And in addition to the heating system that I mentioned inside, uh, under the retractable roof, we also have a uh, outdoor fireplace as well as lava lamps that produce heat and make the environment very conducive for our guests uh, to have a drink, enjoy their leisure time and enjoy the magnificent views, 360 degree views of Manhattan skyline at any time. Now, you also have a restaurant, although the indoor restaurant has been closed uh, downstairs, uh, although you seem to have expanded into the sidewalk uh, on, on East 50th Street. Uh, uh, what is that restaurant and, and what does it offer? Well, uh, we are probably one of the best gluten-free uh, restaurant offerings in New York City. Uh, our restaurant, Bistango, offers uh, lunch and dinner, a gluten-free uh, pasta, a, a gluten-free pizza, and it has been a hit since the day we opened. And now with this uh, sidewalk dining, uh, we have been able to cater to our clients that are uh, looking for this type of dining and this, uh, a lot of people that uh, need the, the gluten-free food. And we are very proud and we are very uh, happy that we were able to cater to them uh, on the sidewalk and um, under our awning and whatnot to just try not to uh, have them forget us and to make sure that they return to us once the indoor dining resumes again. Yeah, so you have that uh, outdoor on the street, but you also have obviously the outdoor, uh, the, the rooftop bar. So you got some good options here, right? Well, I'd like to say that the Kimberly Hotel, in addition to uh, Bistango, we also have a, a great, one of the best steakhouses in New York City, Empire Steakhouse. And with all that we have to offer, I always say that the Kimberly Hotel is a unique resort in addition to being a uh, sweet hotel in New York City. Now what has it been like, uh, I assumed you were closed for a time, uh, what has it been like reopening the Kimberly? Uh, it has been a uh, very good opening. I'm very uh, confident that we will slowly pick up, uh, a, uh, pick up in business. We have, a, um, we have uh, contacted all our friends in the travel agency industry and they've been very supportive throughout this time. They've been calling us to make sure that we are open. We are of course uh, complying with all the CDC measures uh, on protecting our staff as well as our guests. We handing our guests as soon as they arrive uh, the PPE kits 
We are also. Yeah, uh, I know. I, they offered me a, a mask and everything else. I had a mask, but uh, down the, and of course you got plexiglass in front of the reservations thing, so you're you're complying with all that. But I mean, just the fact that you as mentioned earlier about this outdoor space with the balconies, with the out, uh, rooftop bar, with the out, I mean, really, it's a very livable and very hospitable place, uh, even during the COVID times, right? Absolutely, and I I believe, and in addition to what I mentioned before, we also have a, a digital temperature taking device in the lobby where guests with a minimum invasion, they can just go pass by, turn their hand, head towards the uh, screen, have their temperature taken and move to their uh, suite. Now, there are any other features you want to highlight about the hotel uh, or for our travel advisors out there watching us? Well, the hotel has also in-house gym. Uh, that's on the second floor. It's, o- uh, so it's open now? It's open. Uh, with a, we are, at this point, we're making appointments. We try not to get more than four or five people at, at a time in there. Uh, we also have a uh, very large meeting room uh, that can accommodate up to 45 people, uh, conference style, and maybe 75 people uh, uh in the boardroom style. Boardroom style, yeah. So, so you can have meetings here. Uh, it's amazing suites, um, rooftop bar, great food. Uh, and I'm so glad you're back open because this is, is really a great option. There actually is still a lot of luxury hotels in this town that aren't open, uh, which is amazing. I actually parked, p- passed by one of them uh, coming here. I said, I, I thought that was open, but it's not, right? There's a, you, you're kind of uh, sort of pioneering here with getting open. Well, uh, absolutely. Uh, the COVID-19 has uh, uh, affected the New York City hotel industry tremendously. At this point, I believe about 60% of hotels are, are closed. Some of them were probably, unfortunately, be uh, permanently closed uh, due to large expenses of in keeping and uh, maintaining these properties. We are lucky that we have been determined to keep this place closed for six months to make sure that we have it prepared properly uh, so we can ensure safety and uh, security of our guests during these troubled times. No, it's, it really has been a great stay, and thank you again for hosting us. Uh, it, it's been a wonderful stay, and I have passed by this property many times. I have been to the rooftop bar, I admit, uh, but, but never stayed here and always had heard great things about it. And so to get the chance here to, uh, right after you just opened pretty much, uh, to be here and experience it has really been amazing. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, and I uh, thank you for visiting us, and I'm delighted to have been able to host you in our what we are very proud of, the Kimberly Hotel. And we look forward to welcoming guests from uh, all over the world, and we look forward to future uh, cooperation with all travel agencies around the world and travel specialists. Well, one thing I forgot to ask, t- t- we talked about the address, but you're a really central lo- location. You you're, you can go- get to anywhere from in Manhattan, right? There is no better location in New York City than the Kimberly Hotels. It's 145 East 50th Street between Lexington and 3rd Avenue, within walking distance to 5th Avenue, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center, and all other attractions that this city has to offer. Again, thank you so much, and uh, hopefully we'll come back soon, or at least come and come enjoy the rooftop bar. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm James Schillinglaw here at the Kimberly in New York City, and this is Insider Travel Report.